Here are some tips on how to improve the battery life on Samsung Galaxy A56 5G to slow down the aging process and prevent the draining issues. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to settings and the main idea is to adjust some settings in the battery settings. But first we're going to start with the power saving mode because of course it is recommended to use the power saving mode from time to time. You can also see how much additional time or the total time actually, you will get approximately by enabling the power saving mode. You don't have to use it all the time. You can also adjust what should happen when you use the power saving mode. And then also at the bottom we have the maximum power saving mode, which uh, removes pretty much almost everything from our phone. What I mean by that is almost every app is deactivated. You can choose several apps that you can use, but there are no widgets, no screen, um, no wallpapers and anything like that. You just have a dark screen and several apps to, to, to use. So it looks like this. As you can see, we have four additional apps that we can use. We have how much time is left. So we can greatly increase the remaining time until the battery is completely drained. This is, of course, a pretty good tool to use in critical times. Now, besides that, we also have the adaptive power saving mode. So you can tap on these three dots in order to go to adaptive power saving. And here we can let the phone use um, some sort of AI, I guess, uh, to learn our usage patterns. And based on our usage of the phone, the phone itself will automatically turn on and turn off the power saving mode when it decides that it is recommended to do so. So I actually believe it is a pretty good choice to turn on this option. But besides that, we also have the battery protection, which is recommended to use at least the basic uh, mode. The basic mode allows you to charge normally to 100%, but if you do charge your phone to 100% and you do not remove the charger, then the phone will stop charging itself. And when it drops the battery down to 95%, it starts charging again. There is also the maximum battery protection, which pretty much limits charging to the selected percentage. It is actually recommended to use 80%. This is the most optimal way. But of course, if you find it not convenient, then you can increase it to more. Besides that, there is also the adaptive mode, which is something in between. The adaptive mode allows you to stop charging at 80% when you are sleeping, when you are asleep. And when you are about to wake up, it switches to the basic mode. So during the day you are using the basic mode and at night you are using the maximum mode, which is quite useful when you are, for example, often charging your phone um, at night. Besides that, there is also the charging setting where we have the fast charging mode. If you believe that fast charging can speed up the process of battery aging, then of course you can turn it off. Um, that is just a tip for those that believe so. And these are all the battery settings that we, that we can go through. However, of course, there are multiple different additional things that we can do in order to extend the battery life. For example, the most important thing is, for example, the wallpaper. And what I mean by that, if you use some sort of animated wallpaper, then it will definitely speed up the battery draining. Uh, so you will lose your battery much quicker. Besides that, we can go to display settings and one, you can use the adaptive brightness, the automatic brightness that allows the phone to adjust the brightness of the screen based on the environment. If you use more brightness, then you will use more battery. You will increase the battery consumption with higher uh, brightness. There's also the light and dark theme. And in general, the dark theme is a better choice in terms of the battery saving. So if you want to save the battery, if you want to keep it for a little bit longer, if you want to extend the battery life, then you can use the dark mode. You can also set up the scheduled dark mode as well if you want to. We also have the motion smoothness. Um, so I, of course, believe that the highest uh, frame rate possible is the way to go. Uh, you should use 120 hertz of display refresh rate because, well, this is the experience that you, that you want on your phone. But if you actually prefer to have longer battery life, then you can switch to standard or at least from time to time uh, in order to keep the battery for longer because we decrease the battery consumption if we have lower refresh rate. And I believe these are all from the display settings. 
but in the lock screen and AOD option we also have the always on display which also drains the battery. Nowadays they are quite optimized I would say um, but in general if you want to get more battery then of course it is recommended to not use always on display. And I believe these are the main things that you can do on your phone in order to uh, keep the battery for as long as possible. And in addition to that, there is also a charging tip. Um, in general, these smartphones nowadays, um, or actually, let me start it by saying it the other way around. Uh, in order to optimize the battery charging process, you should start charging the phone when you have 20% or so and you want to stop charging at 80%. This is why in the battery setting we had the 80% option. This is how batteries are working the best way possible and we prevent, well not actually prevent, but we slow down the process of battery aging. If we keep the battery percentage between the 20 and 80%, this is the ideal scenario. Of course, we don't have to stick with it like, um, like nothing else, I don't know. Uh, it's just recommendations. So if you sometimes start charging at 15 or 10% or maybe 30 or 40, it is in general fine as long as you don't do this too often, especially if you don't charge too often at let's say uh, 10% or maybe even 5 or maybe even 0. Um, and if you stop charging at 80% as much as possible, then in general you are fine. Um, this is just a tip to keep the battery for as long as possible. So if you care about the battery the most on your phone, then of course keep the maximum um, battery protection and keep at 80%. Um, but if not, then of course feel free to charge to 100% for your convenience. And that is essentially it. So I believe these are all major tips that you can get for improving the, the battery life and slowing down the process of battery aging on this phone. If you have some more tips that I didn't mention in the video, but you think are quite important as well, then of course, share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.